Hi, turkeys! Freaking out! That was funny. Look at all their turkey marks dragging their feathers and stuff. Being all macho y manny. They're still up there feathering themselves out. You guys could, you know, push a snow shovel. You think? Nothing. <laughs> you guys are really ugly too, sorry. <laughs> Females aren't too bad, but the males, oh man. Oh, there's a lot of males there. There's one, two, three, four, five. Huh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Anyways, good day, tubes. How is she hanging? Pretty good here. So I got a little project today. Um, my shovel broke again. <laughs> Not in the same place that I broke before, which is good. Well, sort of, kind of, but it broke on the other side. So you can see where we had glued it with the uh, construction glue. But it broke, like, on the other side. So I'm like, what the crap? So I kind of think it's just... Maybe where the grain's gone through this piece of wood and uh, where the handle ended up going through, it kind of sort of got a little, I don't know, messed up or something. But anyways, I got my uh, shovel in here and just uh, filed off the little, uh, little grommety, rivety thingy there, guy thingy. I'm going to try to bash it out. What I'm going to do is uh, try to reform the handle. Okay, so what my plan is was this shovel. It's going to be too short to use for like a shovel shovel. This was just the... You know, one of them short guys, right? So what I'm going to do is take this piece of wood out. I'm going to probably cut this smooth, or flat, 90 and then uh, have to probably round it a little bit to stuff this back in. And I'm going to also, it's funny that I say it, but I'm going to take this handle off of here and uh, have no handle, so it'll just be like, you know, the end dewy. I'll show you why in a second here once we get all this apart. Uh, I need a little shovel for something and I'll uh, show you in a sec here. But uh, let's get a punch and see if we can get this thing punched right out of here. But first let's have a look at our uh, our thing here. It looks looking pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to try to unpackage it today out of this thing or maybe leave it for the weekend. I'm not really too sure if it's going to come out. I presume it's set. It's supposed to be set after 30 minutes. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that may not come out of there too easily. Let me just grab a hammer maybe. And I would think it shouldn't be too stuck. Sounds like it's Sounds like it's loose. There we go. Oh, sweet. It's looking good, actually. Really good. So I think I'm just going to leave it because it's still quite damp under here yet. Oh, that's beautiful. It looks like a pop pop cap, uh, like, like, you know, off a, an old uh, pop bottle cap. <laughs> uh, now. Nice to get this center thing out of here, but oh, there we go. Oh, that's freaking pretty perfect, I think. That definitely does need to uh, dry up and cure up some more, so that's pretty good. That come out really good, actually. Really good, and it's, it's heavy. So that'll be my, uh, this is actually the inside here, um, that's the outside. You know what? I need to replace, kind of funny story, I need to replace or fix the lid on my septic tank at the house. The uh, handles have, they're just little wire handles, they've rotted off over the years and I pulled them off 
the last time to get the lid off to get it sucked out. And they like ripped right off. So I'm like, oh great, how am I gonna get this off the next time? So you know what? If we could get the right mold, the right size, which is it's it's a taper fit on those two, right? So it'd be pretty hard to get it bang on. But if you, if you measured it, you could make up a mold and you could make yourself a new lid. That's not too far off. So sweet. That looks uh, pretty good actually. I'll let her sit there and dry over the weekend, I guess. And uh, we should be good for for next week there. See all the little hairs, little fibers. It's kind of cool. All right, so we got to find a little punch. Just a little punch. A little punch that should do. And uh, hopefully this is gonna sort of. It looks like I need to. Uh, just before we bash that through some more. Oh, I see. It's okay. Just got a little piece of a burr there into it. So, I don't know if this is going to be solid enough here. Don't hit the wrong nail. Coming out. Holy cow, you'd wonder. It's not very solid, I guess. Maybe I should uh, try to get her in here, maybe. Are you still in the shot? Sort of, kind of. Wow, that is a good, tight fit there. It's a starter punch now. I gotta find another punch here. See that or just try to pull it out from the other side. Maybe I could uh ooh. it's actually not uh, looking too good right there. It's all twisted in there and stiff. Yeah, that's actually where it broke before. <laughs> I think right on there. And part part of partially there too, so. Um, okay, so that's not exactly sort of kind of working yet. I'm going to need a really, really tiny punch here. I know I've got one. That's too big. <laughs> give, me a, give me a second here. I might have to dump out half of my drawer here to find her. It's a fairly, yeah, too big. I want to go for a little more. What is going on here? I'm pushing it through, but it's not coming out. <laughs> okay, so I we'll have to figure out another way here. Maybe by chance have to just grind this one off too. With the file. Really soft metal on these things. Wow, that's how they mushroom them over. That's that one out. Now we also need to hopefully that's too big. Hopefully try to uh, get this handle out again too. Sometimes that's gonna be fun. Okay, so that one's mushed in. What's I don't know, there must be two separate ones in there because they're both <laughs> Mushed. So it all can go well here. Ugh. 
Okay, you're gonna be a turd, are you? Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be a turd today, Timmy? But is that right? She's wedged pretty good. Wow, that's that's really wedged on there, good. Just need to loosen it a little bit. Plus it looks like there's a bit of rust in there. A little bit of rust. Fight me to the end, isn't it? Well, I think eventually we're gonna win. Maybe. I can hold a shovel. Holy! Fight to the end! <laughs> So there's the little tapery thingy. Okay, so I don't think that's going to directly just kind of go right in there. It is quite a bit smaller, so we are going to have to taper that thing. Well, let me just put a couple of things away here. I'd get this this uh, handle off of here, um, but we're gonna start down here. Yes, that's a metal hacksaw. I mean, it's for cutting metal, but it works good on wood. Okay, so that's off, that's off. We'll just maybe keep that piece of second or two more. Now, in my drawer of crap here, I've got a really wicked, <laughs> this guy here. Maybe we better see if we can get this handle off first. And of course I put that good file away again. Let's get him out. in the shot? Yep. Could just cut it here, but yeah. might be a well, I don't know. Be a lot faster, wouldn't it? You know what? <laughs> There's only about this much more handle in there. It's not going to make that much of a difference for the purpose I'm going to use it for. You'll see in a minute. Repurposing. But I do have a good handle again there if I need it. So, um, okay, so that of course will need to get filed down a little bit, yes. So this, this will eat her off pretty quick here. Because this is like a really really core side. As you can see, it's like chainsaw chips almost coming off of here.
much. I'm really taking it off. That's awesome. These things, they do get a little bit blocked up, but... She needs quite a bit more yet. Just kind of hold that one up to there. You can see I don't kind of need that much taper to it, but. She will need some. So you're probably wondering, holy cow, there's not going to be anything left of this handle. I mean, it's done here. Well. I was mentioning I kind of really don't need a whole lot. This side you could use smoother down if you really wanted to, but I don't think the shovel guy is going to care. that into the lathe and shaved her down. Oh well, sorry. Okay, that's a little smaller. Nope, she's gonna need more yet. Okay, I'm gonna work away at this because it's gonna probably take me a few minutes to actually shape it the way I want. And uh show you what the deal is going to be here. Okay, so we're getting really close. It smells like ash or something. I'm not really too sure. So you don't want to go too thin there because your thing needs to be able to mount into it, so well, that's pretty good. I think that'll work. It's a pretty short handle, isn't it? Well, yes. Quite a short handle. That's definitely spread good there. So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, I don't really have. Uh, actually, that's probably tight enough. I spread the thing open pretty good there really so should have been a little bit narrower at the end here. I don't think I'm going to try getting her off now though. And I really don't think that's going to come out anyways. But we'll secure it there with something. <sighs> good little file that thing. So Maybe a little nail or something, or a wood screw, or I'll find something here to maybe drive in there. Little tiny wood screws, I think they'll work. Um, Robertson. Robertson. Oh. Rusty Robertson, apparently. Probably should pre drill these too, but. Eh. Basically just to hold the handle from slipping out, right? Boy, that's still good wood though. It's tough drilling. I think I'm just going to put the one in. The other one actually will probably end up hitting the other screw maybe. By the time I get it, yeah, it's good. Okay, so nice to kind of have a roundish sort of handle on the end here. 
not so uh, blunty-ish kind of, you know, uh, file again, I guess, but, uh, not going to be using it a whole lot but uh, it's going to have a little bit of use to it so um, okay let's take her out here and show you what this is for so we got the trailer back i just juicing the battery there just before i go out um got it one to dig for today got to get at her so i'll have to do that after this but uh, i noticed when i first time i used it when it's really cold cold outside um let's go down the other side here when it's really cold out, the tailgate has a spot that uh, the crap freezes to it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So there's a couple little things here. The dirt comes out in these little ledges. And I'm not really 100% sure what the ledges are for, but they get caked with crap. And along the back and then along the front edge of this tailgate here. So I need something to... That thing is freaking heavy. Something to scrape that off and stuff, so hence shovel. <laughs> there. Now we have a shovel. So that's what that's for. And uh, something you can get in there and scrape, otherwise you're kicking it with your boot or whatever, you know? So, and not uh, really too sure what the point of those things are. It's not like they kind of really do anything for the tailgate. I wonder if it's something something for no the ramps go on here so I don't know what those things are for under there I wonder if it's just something that they put there well when they put the gate on that it's something for the gate to rest on while they're welding on here or something I don't know but anyways that's what that's for and if it's gonna be a real nuisance I might even have to cut those things off but there we go we got a shovel a little shovel anyways the odd time you might need a little shovel for breaking stuff out of the corners and you know I can already see these d-ring things are gonna be uh, a pain under this dirt and stuff here there's a d-ring <laughs> you know so it's kind of nice to have stuff to tie down to but I kind of really don't need those in there but uh, anyways so there we go but uh, anyways that might be mostly it for today I gotta get rocking here and uh, get digging. And get digging. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this here because I'll probably put it on again later. Or I might just hook up that little trickle charge system in there. So, but anyways, uh, yeah, that's. I guess I'll get this thing warming up here. Again, I was out, swept a bit of snow this morning. Um, I, I groove, uh, cut a little groove in here because that can sit in like that then and I can have that closed. Then I can just bring this up for me. And I haven't figured out my trip mechanism for the tailgate yet, but one of these days we'll work on that. So I'll get charging warmed up again and uh, I'm gonna go dig a hole so I don't know if there's gonna be too much else today because it's gonna be a busy day after this so that might be about it for today for this week anyways the next week we're gonna maybe uh, try hooking up this 
system here. Now I talked to my trailer guy and I asked him, have you ever heard of one of these brake boxes that are like waterproof? And he's like, boy, I never had that question either. <laughs> so I, got him, I gave him another stumper and he's like, no, no, I've never heard of that. So I um, was thinking, oh, that's something I got to do too. The brakes are working good on the trailer now. I was going to show you pull out, well, it'd be better on the truck, but because what I would have to do is pull out that little plug thing and then they'll lock on. But I'll have to show you that another time, I guess. Uh, they are working much better though, so they will skid now when you when you juice her. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, so he's like, no, I never heard of anything waterproof, so I'm like, well, I don't know. Just put it out there and try it, I guess. It's either that or I take this thing all apart or take the, the skin off it and try to get in here and coat it with something that is, like I can see a, a little, mm, hang on a sec here, I can see a little panel, circuit panel right there, see? So I'm, I'm pretty sure the stuff would leak through the top here. Some of you are saying, oh put it in uh, like a waterproof lunch box, Tupperware kind of thing. I'm like, you gotta have it accessible though, because if all of a sudden you need brakes, holy crap, I can't be fighting this stupid lid, and oh my gosh, and by that time you'd crashed. So, <laughs> and I've got no brake switch on this tractor, as in the brakes on the tractor. There's no brake light, so I can't hook anything up to that. It's just going to be strictly power going to this thing, a little push thing, so when I I don't generally use brakes on the tractor anyways, and there's nothing to hook this system to that system um, on it. There's no brake lights, there's no nothing on that tractor. So the only thing I'm interested in is using this thing here as assistance to my trailer brake. So, but uh, where I'm going to put it, I don't know. A lot of the time I won't need it, so maybe it would be alright to put it in a box and then just have it out of the box when I'm towing might have to do that too, you know, and uh, figure something out that way, but I kind of don't have much room for too much stuff on this tractor, so I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but I guess doer and tryer. Uh, I guess I could go at this thing and silicone up all these, you know, spots and stuff in here where it could potentially leak water. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get to her. But anyways, he thought that would work pretty good uh, for brakes and stuff. He says it's probably not too bad of an idea to have to have brakes. So especially if you know you're going downhill or something, it's like oh crap. But what I guess I could do is put that little wire from that little uh, brake disconnect thing up onto the tractor. And if I'm having a problem with something, I can just pull that out and it just it would lock right up. You know, and you just have to plunk that back in and away you go. But you could do that. You know, there's that option too. But be kind of nice to have a little switchy thing, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out next week there or something. Hopefully the weather's nicer and actually working on this stuff. So, but uh, anyways, for now I think that's going to be it.
All right, so we got a pretty good load in here. I don't think I'd want to put too much more because, man, I don't have much room between fender and tire there. Can't even get my fingers in there. It's just the lip of the fender, I think, is the hard, the bad part. But uh, maybe I put too much in, I don't know. But we're gonna do a lift here. And uh, I'm just gonna shut the tractor off for a minute. Have to inch ahead once it starts to get up and over, but uh, here we go. You think she's gonna lift? I hope it does. That's a lot of shovel, and if it doesn't, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's really good. I didn't even push my tractor ahead. The tractor seems to pull it pretty good, too. more for us from behind as well. What is going to push me? Kind of scary. Self-unloading. <laughs> this is long for the ride. So that worked pretty good. That was about uh, 12 scoops roughly. I didn't have a right full because I was really watching the uh, axle to the, the to tire to the fender there it was a little scary sort of so I got a little bit looks like left over up top here I don't know if I can get up to get that out or not it's a long way up it's a long way up Well, sorry I didn't do uh, another dump there for you. I just basically filled it and then pulled out and then the vault guy shows up. So bang, 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 done, done, done. I had to dump her out right away because it was cold enough out here it was going to freeze, hopefully not too much, in the back. So I think we're okay. But... So anyways, everything's transferred over we got the green trailer back out and the black trailer back in and should be all good to go and that is about it for today because the funeral will come in I think they're supposed to be here around 2 30 so I mean that's the end of my available time for video to get it uh, rendered uploaded and processed for you guys so uh, better call her quits here I guess so pretty Pretty, pretty productive day. We rebuilt a shovel, I guess, and uh, showed you the, the trailer, and we uncasted our, our lid dewey, and whenever that other stuff comes in next week, we'll uh, try making the, uh, the actual uh, burner thingy, pot melter, smelter thing itself, and uh, go from there to the foundry, the foundry. And uh, still not 100% sure what I'm going to use for crucible inside yet or really 100% sure yet what I'm going to use to power this thing. I was just thinking of using my uh, propane element thing that came out of the big trailer here but I don't know if it's going to be quite hot enough. It might be okay if I did stick in some uh, briquettes but I just don't think there's going to draw enough air. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to burn it with yet. I do have a half a million BTU Tiger Torch. That would definitely probably do it. But uh, I'm going to try the little guy first. Hopefully it works. If not, well, 
I'll have to figure out something else. So, because uh, once you get her hot, I don't think it takes much to keep it hot. So, especially being lined, it should be pretty good. So, anyways, cold and crappy out here. Well, not so crappy. It's nice and freaking cold. As you can hear the wind. So, we'll catch you next week. Have a good weekend and stuff. And uh, farm some Saturday tomorrow. Awesome new mod.